and welcome to Excel problem solving series. So into one of this video we have seen how to create the slicers. So using slicers you can filter out the data very much easily instead of using the filter condition. And let us see one more interesting functionality here which is present in Excel. So friends let us see I have a column here for example we will take column C. And what if I want to create a drop down and from the drop down I want to list all these unique values which are present into this particular column or any of such columns so into the drop down I want to get all these options and any user can select the option from there so let us see how to do that so first of all we'll need to go to this data tab then we'll need to click on to this data validation and to allow we need to provide the list function here into the source we need to provide the list example if i want to create the drop down for the column c i would just select the range as column c here then i would click ok so friends you can see the drop down has been created here with all the options which have been present into this list here so you can see we have got all these options you can see monday and tuesday are repeating a lot of many times how i can get rid of this option so i just want to get two options or distinct options which are present into that particular column so for that i would just need to copy this column somewhere i would just do a control c and then i would do a control v here here i would go to this data tab remove duplicates and this will remove all these duplicates so you can see i have got these unique values here so this spelling is wrong no worries so now let us create the data validation or a drop down here with two options now monday and tuesday so i would just click onto this data validation column here i would click onto the list here i would need to provide the source and then i would click on to ok so you can see into this drop down only two values are available which is monday and which is tuesday so friends this is how we can create drop downs into excel you can remove this day tab also so in the range in which we had selected we also selected the day option so that is why it is coming so i would just remove that and show you guys so i would just select these two options here i would click ok so you can see into the drop down we are just getting two options and this is very much useful function which is available in microsoft excel and this can be used to dynamic change the data so i hope you have found this video very much helpful do like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't been in the next video thank you so much bye